Hey guys, me again, and today we have a Dell Optiplex 7010 in for not a repair, but customer wants me to have, I guess, one of these wireless adapters working for him. As you can see, we have one, we have two, we have three, and we have a fourth one in the back over here, this guy. This is a Netgear whatever something something it's whatever this thing is ac1200 so and then the other thing is just a logitech uh, usb dongle so what we're gonna do if we can put this back in properly of course i can um put it back in there you go what we're gonna do for our customers basically his complaint was he can't get his wi-fi to work because every time he plugs one of these things in it says it needs to find a driver for it or whatever so from the looks of it, it probably has Windows 7 on it, and that can explain a lot of things, because Windows 7, unfortunately, does not really support plug-and-play like Windows 10 does. So, what we're going to do is, I have a network connection over here, I have my wired connection, and then I have my monitor over here hooked up with my good old VGA cable, because I don't have a display port to HDMI cable. Um... And we're going to basically use only one of these adapters. My customer basically was just trying and with all, with all his might to get one of these to work. But they just won't work because the drivers are not there. So what I'm going to do for my customer is I'm going to put the best one in. Um, I have to see which one it is. I don't know. I think I'm going to go with one of these ones because I don't like the long antenna on this one. This can get broken very easily. Um, I'm going to see if... Whatever the best one is, I'm going to leave it in there, and we're going to install the drivers for it. And, uh, yeah, so let's get started. I'm going to plug everything into this thing. I'm going to power it on, and we're going to see what we see on our screen. If there's any, like, private information or whatever, I'm not going to show it, so that's just a fair warning. But, uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so we're finally loaded into Windows. I kid you not, this took me a good couple of minutes waiting for this thing to turn on because... It's using a mechanical drive, and another thing, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, this is not Windows 7, this is Windows 11, so this machine has been upgraded, and yeah, as you can see, it's running Windows 11, and uh, I guess this machine is capable because uh, Windows 11 has new features that, that you need to meet in order to be able to run it, and whatever, blah, blah, blah. So, this machine supports it, I guess, but it's very slow, actually, and uh, the drive, there's a mechanical hard drive in here somewhere, it's under here, I think, under the optical drive, this thing even still has a, it's like a laptop style, CD, ROM, whatever, DVD, ROM drive, and uh, the hard drive is right under there, typical for these, whatever, small, for, this is a small form factor, as they'll call it, SFF, small form factor computer. So they have this one, then they have a slightly larger one, and then they have the complete, the full size, it's like the, the tower. Or this one might be the medium-sized one, I'm not sure. This could be the medium-sized one, and then the one that's up afterwards is the full form factor, it's the big, big tower. Um, but anyways, so <clears throat> let me just show you what we have here. So if I go to my task manager, yeah, it's it has a i5-3470 CPU. There's 8 gigs of RAM, and as you can see, our drive is not liking anything at all. It's being constantly toggled at 100, so 100% usage, as you can see. So, this drive is just as good for the garbage, I would say, but the customer doesn't want me to mess with that. I'm just going to fix the uh, network problem that they say they're having. So, if I go, let me show you what I've been poking around. If I go to Device Manager... There you go. So on the list, we see all the adapters that were plugged in before and whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to remove the ones that are not there anymore. So the ones that are like kind of shaded out. Um, and then we're going to see if we can install just one of these adapters and make this work for our customer. And uh, as you can see, yeah, the only two things that we have here are some sort of, I guess, VPN connection on the top, and then the bottom is the uh, local area network. That's the jack that's right there, wired network. So, yeah, so I'm going to clean this up quickly, and uh, I'm going to put in one of these better 
adapters in this machine and we're gonna see what happens okay so let's do that right now okay so we're back and now we installed basically I chose the <coughs> the Netgear uh, adapter it seemed to be pretty good so this is the Netgear network adapter and that's my uh, keyboard and mouse whatever wireless keyboard mouse uh, little dongle and just to show you so now if we go to our control panel we can see it now I'm connected to my wireless network we have an adapter called Wi-Fi that's my network there lost for data 5 gigahertz Netgear blah 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 whatever internet access high-speed internet so this is appearing normal and if I go to properties if I go to my properties for this network adapter come here you yeah let's go to IP version 4 this is getting this is said uh, this is correct so this is just getting my the uh, network addressing and the assignments is done automatically so that's okay now if I close that let me go to my here we go so this is my device manager my task manager there's our wireless card and this is just uh, our network activity going on and again there's just some uh, some fine details right there and uh yeah it looks like it's working just fine usb 2.0 adapter it looks like it's working absolutely fine and just to show you i did a speed test and this is what i'm getting um yeah so pretty good results actually so um 112.35, so we have good results there and I think this is just about ready to be given back to the customer there's nothing else really that I see wrong with it if I go to oh and I clicked on disk management by accident not disk management I want to go device manager let me go there it takes a bit of time to load unfortunately because of this stupid mechanical hard drive if i go to network adapters there it is so i cleaned it up now we're just showing our correct adapter and if i let's see show hidden devices if there's anything hiding here you go so everything is still present um nothing is funky or whatever so Everything is good now. I'm going to let the customer know. And that they can come and pick it up. So I think that's pretty much it for this really. That was not too too hard. Just cleaning up some stuff and uh, choosing the, the best guy here. The best one. So if you guys like this video. Please leave a, a comment down in the bleep bloop section. Leave a thumbs up. And I just hit my keyboard. Please leave a thumbs up. Uh, hit the bell if you don't want to miss a new video when I upload it. So, until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.